Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. Well, shout out today to our baby girl, Alicia. Today is her birthday. She's 32 years young, and you can make sure today that you'll see some pictures of her as she's come up through the trenches, and you'll be uh, uh, kindly amazed and send her a little note and aggravator if you can. Today she's big 3-2, 32 today. Boy, I remember that day when she was birthed. What a joy that was. I've watched her grow. She's not only our daughter, She's a friend, and what a wonderful thing to be able to say about someone, because when you become a situation where you are a friend to someone, that you love someone, that you care for someone, it's very valuable for you to understand that point. It's amazing to me to understand that you can uh, have a child, and that child then can choose to be your friend. Well, that's where Alicia is. It's kind of funny. I'm here in the office. I'm running a little bit late this morning. My custodian is trying to talk to me, and uh, he doesn't understand that I'm cutting a video, so he's standing at the door looking in, and I'm looking at this camera talking, and he's looking at me. It's kind of, it's kind of a funny thing. You should be here. It's really, <laughs> I'll get him in a minute, but it's really funny. So anyway, Miss Alicia's birthday is today. And what's very important about that is that God has blessed us so much. Now, the Word of God has promised us that God will watch over us. In fact, I have a few, several things actually to do today. Uh, several things involve children. As we're praying for those kids and those moms are anxious, you know, and, and of course you have, as a mom or a dad and you have children and obviously you're anxious about things and that's okay because that's our care and our love and God promises us that he'll do, listen to me now, that he'll do the best thing. He'll do the best thing, make the best out of a situation. No matter what that situation is, God will make the best out of it. Now here's the issue that's valuable for all of us. Trust. Trust. Do you trust God? That's very important. Do you trust God? You say, well, yeah, I trust God. Now, let me ask you again. Do you trust Him? You see, the Bible says, be thankful in everything and worry about nothing. Well, that takes the human equation out of it immediately. Obviously, we worry as people. But worrying, when it takes root, it becomes a deep-seated emotion that will stop your progress. Because worrying about things that you cannot change is obviously detrimental to you. Worrying about things that haven't happened yet is obviously apprehensive to you. So I need to be in the position where I can be continually faithful to trust God to do the best in either situation. You see, if I will let God guide me and lead me, then God knows what I need. I think I know what I need. But I don't know exactly what I need. But God knows exactly what I need. wants to help me exactly the way I need help. wants to make sure that I understand. Now, Alicia's, uh, oh my gosh, she's uh, almost a head taller than her mother. She's about 5'9", probably. Tall girl, good basketball player, good athlete, going to be a nurse, going to graduate in May. She grew up. You know why? We fed her. We fed her. She, she ate. We, I mean, I'm telling you, if you grow by grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to have to grow in this. You're going to have to grow in the Word. Listen to me, please. You cannot grow spiritually unless you eat spiritually. Listen to me. You cannot grow spiritually unless you eat spiritually. I... Uh, I have a great friend, dear friend. Every time I see him, he says, I'm on a diet, Pastor. I said, well, you need to get off of it and start obeying it. Say, hey, man, somebody. He's, I said, you're standing on the diet. You're not using the diet. You know, uh, sometimes we diet on stuff, but, you know, we just we just don't, uh, we don't commit ourselves to do the right thing, and the results is very obvious because we can just look and see the results. Well, spiritual results are on the inside but they bear out on the outside. You cannot grow spiritually if you do not eat spiritually. If you are challenged today and your life is kind of up and down and you don't know what's going on, ask yourself the question, what has my diet been? We've been back and forth to Charlotte, you know, house to, house to, uh, 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 I can't even think of what I'm saying, uh, just, uh, uh, temporal housing is what, it, it, you know, we're staying in a place and we're going back and forth to Charlotte here at the church. And uh, 
we were at the grocery store last night and, and Janice said, well, what do you think we need? I said, I don't know. I said, you know, the way that we're running the different places, it's not good to bring a lot of food in here because we're not going to be able to eat it. We're going to be back and forth so much. So uh, as as we, temporary housing is what I was trying to say. Well, I lost my mind there for a minute. But what, what my point is, is that, uh, you know, physically you have to eat, obviously. But if you do not eat spiritually, you're going to miss the whole point of, of what God's trying to tell you. So don't negate the fact that the Word of God is strength to you. It's not just a word to you, it's strength to you. It is a developing diagram that will lead your life into the place that you need to be to be plugged into what God wants you to do. And that's very important to understand. So let me challenge you today to do what God has called you to do, and God will bless you for that. So today, spiritually speaking, have you eaten yet? Now, I appreciate you watching the videos, but don't let this be your meal. I mean, I, I, I'm glad you listen. And keep listening, by the way. But try not to let this be the only thing you eat today, spiritually speaking. And if you do that, well, God will bless you for it. God bless you. We love you. Happy birthday, Alicia. And goodbye.